There is much more that we can do, and a window into this comes from Greg Brady. Science, Western science, has believed firmly that the experiences that we have inside of our bodies, our thoughts, feelings, emotions, beliefs, our prayers, our affirmations, in here have no effect on the world beyond our bodies. And now we know that these two assumptions are flat wrong. We have within us, both individually and collectively, so much more, but we've been hijacked along the way. We're giving away our rights at every forefront because we don't know who and what we are or we're unwilling and undisciplined. We're not disciples of the true way enough to stand on it. Now, what's the one thing that the last two years is focused upon? It's separation by design, to be fearful of each other and to keep us alone and afraid. And then medicine has fundamentally got disconnected from the essence of what it means to be human beings. And we suffer. There's an article in the New Yorker about the alarming rise in childhood suicide, the mysterious rise in childhood. There's nothing mysterious about it. Kids are stressed. These are the conditions of this culture. All the lonely people, as the Beatles sang, you know. Whether you watch alternative channels or whether you watch CNN or not, it's all a bunch of noise. And when you get out into nature and you start listening to that still small voice, there's a bit of wisdom that can come through that you wouldn't get otherwise. But the Bible talks about the small, still voice that's inside of us. And the noise around us generated by this culture makes that voice almost impossible to hear. But I'm sure you've had the experience yourself, and a lot of people have. It's in there. And if we can just listen to it. For me, the more I've been in nature and contemplated with books and in silence, the more I've been able to listen to that still small voice inside me. Those moments have also given me inspiration for creating videos or for writing. And I feel like the more that people express themselves through some creative outlet, whether it be writing or videos, the more that they're able to kind of pull and lean into their own character and their own voice, they develop much more. If this video is a prescription for anything, at least from my own perspective, it's to go ahead and carve out time where you can uh, go deep within that and listen to that inner voice. And in that sense, find some divinity in small moments, in small spaces, and be more of who you are rather than what are the people uh, or society has basically prescribed for you. The more that we listen to our inner voice, the stronger that we are individually and collectively. And the deeper we go with that, the more the chaos and everything, all that noise becomes basically obsolete. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.